Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That, and today we're going to be making a very simple ball bearing baron. So I've seen these in various different art shops, and they're they're quite expensive. Uh, there are many different variations. I think the the nicest one that I've seen is the Slama Press, and if you are looking for something very nice and it looks like it's really well made um, and something a bit more substantial because this is just 3D printed, I would recommend taking a look at Slama Press. There are other ball bearing alternatives as well. These ball bearing barons are great because first of all you can apply a lot of pressure to, to these single points on the ball bearings um, and you don't have to put so much force into it yourself because it's transferred into just these tiny little uh, points on the on the ball bearings and also it glides over the paper much easier. So if you're used to using I don't know, something like a spoon or something like that um, this is much easier. Also the way that I've designed this is well, it's got a handle on the top so it's, it's uh, nice and easy to grip and also I've just put some pennies in it uh, and I filled it up with, with resin so it's got a little bit of weight to it and also the, the stainless steel ball bearings as well they add some weight to it and that all just helps to reduce the amount of pressure or force you have to put into the barrel when you are printing it and something that I really like is if you look at the Slama Press designs they've actually got additional weights that you can slot onto the baron to add weight to it so you can literally just kind of you know move your hand to move the baron over the paper and the weights are actually kind of applying all of the force maybe that'd be an upgrade that I'm, i might make i might cut out some kind of steel discs that i can kind of put over this baron now you're going to need a 3d printer to make this it's a very very simple model to make um, you could send it off to various different kind of print on demand services out there it's not going to cost you much to print something like this the ball bearings are pretty cheap i think i got a hundred for about nine pounds uh, and i'm not sure how many i'm using here in total I, I think it's about 50 or 60 ball bearings this is a really great printing tool um, i would highly recommend it to anyone who is you know doing kind of like relief prints if you're using like a spoon or anything you know, that requires kind of hand pressure. Um, yeah, think about making one of these. These are really cool. If you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, I did make a proofing press, which I do also use to do relief prints. But honestly, I think the Ball Baron Baron is pr probably easier to use. And obviously you're not restricted by size. You can really print as big as you want. And this is really what these Barons were designed for. It was for when you wanted to print something really big that you couldn't actually put into a press. So I'm gonna show you the build now. It's really easy, it doesn't take too long to build. Uh, the 3D print took about two or three hours. You could just 3D print a solid model. It's not gonna be as heavy as something like this, putting pennies in it, washers, something metal, filling it up with resin. It's just a, a good way to add some bulk to it.
So as you can see, it's really easy to put together. Um, it doesn't cost much. And considering the price that you would pay in the shops for something like this, I mean, it's, it's almost like 10 times the cost. So yeah, hopefully you found this useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll put the Thingiverse link in the description below. If you're looking to make something a little bit more substantial, take a look at my Proof Impress video. I'll put that in the description as well, and you can see it at the top here. And hopefully I'm gonna get around to actually using this and doing some, uh, some, some prints of it in the next few weeks. Anyway, that is it for now. I will catch you all later.